Well, a heads up as you get ready to start your day. Westbound traffic on Interstate 70 through downtown Topeka is closing starting today. Our 27 News reporter Katie Garceron joins us live now with what you need to know about detours heading into work this morning. Katie. Hey, Tiffany, good morning to you and Becky in the studio. Yes, all traffic from A Street to Topeka Boulevard will be closed down starting today as crews are working to patch up some pavement issues at the Pole Quincy Viaduct. Now they're hoping for all of that construction and the patchwork to be done by September 2nd. And the A Street exit will be the last open ramp for any westbound drivers to get off on. Traffic on eastbound I-70 will remain open, but will be down to just one lane. People will be able to to see signed detours through westbound I-70 and they will be routed south to I-470 or north to K-4 to US-24 or US-75. There will also be local street detours starting on Madison Avenue where I am now and eventually leading to the 1st Street I-70 on ramp. And one local man who lives near Madison Street is a little concerned about the traffic and the speedy drivers the detours will bring. I'm kind of concerned how much wear and tear is that going to take on the road itself, whether or not it's going to be able to hold up all that backed up traffic and weight of it all anyway. Concerned individuals just like anybody else. Uh, hope the safety of the individuals that live here can be, watch out for all that. We do have some crazy drivers try to speed to get across the light in time anyway, so have to deal with that. KDOT says there will be more congestion, but the detours will be able to handle the increase in traffic. They are warning drivers to expect delays and to plan accordingly. So if you're heading out the door this morning to take the kids to school or to head off to work, just be aware of those detour signs and uh, plan accordingly so that you can get there on time. And that construction is expected to end, like we said, on September 2nd. When it does end, the I-70 westbound lane will be reduced down to just one lane. Live in downtown Topeka, Working for you, Katie Garcer on 27 News.